Hello, my name is Igor and welcome to my tech farm. In this video, I'm testing a debarring tool, uh, how comfortable it is to use for clean, cleaning CD printed parts. And I have this tool with these additional blades. And uh, the reason for this video is that uh, several times I use the knife for cleaning CD printed parts, uh, cleaning the brim, support, uh, sacrifying layer and similar. And I got several comments that I should use a debarring tool. It's much more comfortable, much safer. And uh, so finally I got one, uh, I think it cost uh, $10 from Banggood uh, with these additional blades. Now I just saw that in my local store uh, it's on sale for $5 but without these additional blades. But if you want to use it only for CD printing then basically the blade which arrives uh, with the tool is enough because uh, it will not wear for years. So in this video I will compare it, I, will, I printed this part with the brick brim and with the sacrifying layer I will clean it with a knife and with the debarring tool and I will tell you my opinion about uh, the feeling. Uh, small disclaimer, I'm very comfortable to using this knife but this will be the first time I'm using this debarring tool. But uh, I saw on the Banggood website that uh, this has quite big hardness and if that's correct then actually I can use it with the aluminium or I will try it even with the steel because I am doing some metal working too. This is the tool. This is just a holder. And these are the blades. I have here 10 blades. For inserting I can press this button and then I, it can slide it down. And it's rotating around its axis. And if I want to take it out, I press this button and I can pull it out. Okay, first I will try to clean the brim and this sacrifying layer with the knife. Sacrifying layer, if you're not familiar, uh, it's used uh, very often in mechanical designs when I don't want to use the support. And in this case, I, I create, uh, printer print, creates a brim. And on this brim it can start this hole because uh, printing a brim needs two sides to be supported. I can start taking down the brim with my hand. But you can see sharp edges here. Well, it's very easy to remove it with a knife. And similar is removing the elephant foot from the printing. Now let's clean this sacrifying layer. I have to start somewhere with the cutting. And it's done. Now let's try the debarring tool. Hmm, okay, it's I think it's more comfortable. Yes, it's, it's more comfortable if even if you don't have so much practice because the blade uh, gets in the correct angle by itself. Now let's remove this sacrifice layer. Maybe I'll try it from the other side. Mm -hmm. Way better. Okay, so my first opinion for cleaning the brim, definitely much more comfortable with using the debarring tool. But for this sacrificing layer, I feel more comfortable using the knife. 
have here some aluminium. Well, I already worked the edges with the fire tool, but I will try to uh, do some chamfering on this edge here. Mm. And I hope it's visible. It's it's very nicely cutting the aluminium too. Mm -hmm. And I can very easily work out the edges of the hole if it, they are big enough the, and uh, this blade can pass through it. Okay, this I cannot do easily with the knife. And probably you can do this with the CD printed parts too. But of course you don't have so sharp holes here. Okay, so this is steel and I just drill this one hole from this side, so maybe, I hope it's visible a little bit. From this side I have very sharp edges and they are standing out from this surface. Mm. Okay, so with this I can work out the steel too, not only aluminium. And the last part also from steel. These edges are still very sharp. And this is that part for a TF2 SD card adapter. I presented in the separate video already, this is the second one and as you can see the supports are not removed and I used the knife to remove the supports. Uh, but I think the debarring tool will not help me with removing the supports, only with sharp edges. I mean this is not designed for removing the supports because the reason I'm mentioning this because I got several comments uh, in this video that uh, I should use a debarring tool. For cleaning this. But no, this is not this is not for removing the supports, only uh, for the working out the edges. So for the brim elephant foot sacrifying layer. The supports are not clean completely, but let's try to work on the edges. And yes, for that definitely the debarring tool is uh, great. And now the final conclusions. Um, well, for cleaning the brim or the elephant foot, definitely much more comfortable using the debarring tool than the knife. For cleaning the sacrifying layer inside the hole, uh, with bigger holes, um, I think I, there is not big difference see, using a knife or this uh, debarring tool, but I feel it more comfortable for cleaning smaller holes. Just place it, uh, the blade inside and do a few rotations and it's done. For cleaning the supports, um, well, I don't see any advantage of the debarring tool, except if those supports are on the edge of the object. So here uh, you saw I use the knife much more comfortable than the debarring tool. Ok, so this is my opinion, uh, but I'm only one person. To improve this video a little bit, uh, I need some statistic and I ask for your help. So write me in the comment if you, experiment, if you have experience uh, using the debarring tool, uh, write me in the comment, uh, do you recommend it or not? And after one month, I will count the votes or do some conclusions and I will add it to the description of the video. I will place an affiliate link down in the description to exactly this tool I bought, uh, but just to remind you, you don't need so many blades if you will use this only with 3D printed parts. I plan to use it with metal uh, too, so that's why I need some spare blades, just in case if they were by the time. And uh, yes, uh, so if you have some additional experience with this, uh, please let me online in a comment. Thank you for watching and happy printing!